Hey guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another new video for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup products. So this video was kind of like my last video on what's in my makeup bag, except this is the more in-depth in what I use every day and that was kind of more of like my travel makeup. So today I'm just going to show you guys all the products I use every day. Not on a normal basis, this is more of when I like beat my face, more done like it is today. Like if I was just a normal day, I would literally just be wearing foundation on my eyebrows. And that would be it on my face. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing that I use is a primer, of course. And I just use this unique primer, and it is my by far all favorite primer. I used it once, and I used like a whole bottle. And I got a new one, so it is just the Aveeno Active Naturals Men After Shave Lotion. So this is just like the Nivea Post Shave Balm Lotion, and this works as an amazing primer. It leaves my makeup on all day, and it smells amazing. Like, how is this even a guy product? So this is just what it looks like, and I use this for my primer every day. It has a really thick consistency, so I feel like it helps the makeup stand super good. So this is just the primer I use. The next thing I use, I'm going to kind of go in like the order in which I apply my makeup because it makes it easier for me. So the next thing I use for my eyebrows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Now this product is my holy grail. Like you guys don't even know. I love this. This is how I slay my eyebrows literally every single day. And this product, oh my gosh, if you don't have this, please go get this. It is the best product out there for eyebrows. It's the only product I could really find that works great for my eyebrows and makes them look exactly how I like and could work good for me. I can never really work good with eyebrow pencils or anything else. This is just what worked best for me. Not saying no other products don't look good. Go be full. Feel free to try them out. This one's just my favorite. This is, yes, I do use it every day. I don't care if my eyebrows look dramatic because I'm fabulous. But, yeah, this is just the everyday product I use for my eyebrows. Dip brow pomade. The next thing I use is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I use this to clean up around my eyebrows and it makes it look so much more nice and sharp and this is just the perfect one. Like it doesn't crease like other concealers crease around my eyebrows. And if you don't have a good concealer around your eyebrows, it tends to make it crease more because like by your eyebrows where you're constantly moving them without even noticing. So I love my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I also use it under my eyes, so it goes under my eyes and around my eyebrows, and I absolutely adore this product. This product lasts forever, literally, so that's why it's good, and a little bit literally goes a long way. Just like with the Dip Brow Pomade, you can literally put the little bitest amount, and it will go the furthest way, so this is the concealer I use. The next thing I use, what's the next order I go in? Oh yes, so my loose face powder I use, like the Laura Mercier or whatever, I use the Airspun loose face powder and this one is by far the best. I tried the Laura Mercier and obviously the price is way expensive, like we can't afford to be spending that every month. So I just use the Airspun loose face powder, it's the perfect bomb.com dupe. So it's only $5 at Walmart, so of course I'm going to do this one. And this one is lasting forever, it's obviously a way bigger size, I think they actually have the same thing. But it comes with way more and it works great. So I love my Airspun loose face powder. I use this every day to bake my face, put under my eyes so like the mascara doesn't get under a smudge, clean up my eyeshadow. Love this face powder. This is literally the bomb.com. So make sure you go and get this. It's way too hurt. So yeah. The next thing I use is um, for foundation, I use my Ulta Demi Matte Foundation in the shade of beige. And I love Zing to Death. I literally have like 10 more bottles in my vanity and I'm almost out of it, but this is the best ever foundation. Oh my gosh, it works so great. It's matte and it feels like you're wearing no foundation. It doesn't feel caked on. It's great coverage and it's for a low price. It's only like 10 bucks, I think. So this is the best foundation. I absolutely love it. I'm pretty much sticking with it for now until I feel like I want to try out something new. But as of now, this is the best foundation. I love it. So I just use the Ulta Demi Matte foundation for this face. The next thing I use is the MAC I Am Brow Finisher and this is just the brow gel. I absolutely love this thing. Um, I used to not, oh shoot, it's like stuck in there. So I used to not like brow gel because I don't know, I feel like it always makes my eyebrows look weird. 
but I absolutely love this brow finisher and it's just this little pencil and then it's a gel stick so I think it works really good. It makes my eyebrows have a nice finish. It doesn't make it look too cakey or like change the color of anything so I really love this brow gel and I use this every day literally and it's lasting me for the longest so not too bad and it's just by the MAC brow gel. The next thing I use every day is the Too Faced Chocolate Solil Bronzer. And this is just a smaller version, but it's lasting forever. And I'm definitely going to be getting the bigger version. But it's just this, and it is in the medium deep matte bronzer. Absolutely love this, and the scent just makes it a hundred times better. So I use this every day to contour up when I'm like doing a full face, and I think it looks pretty cute. So yeah, I really like this bronzer, and this is my go to every day. So the next thing I always, when I wear eyeshadow, I have multiple eyeshadow palettes, but this one is my absolute favorite. If you guys haven't noticed by now, it is the Tartlet Into Bloom by Tarte. This is by far my favorite eyeshadow palette I have purchased. I love all my palettes, but this one's just like my favorite. It's my go-to. so pretty and it's just gold and I absolutely adore it. So I usually use this one on a daily basis. I could create really natural looks with it and I could create really glam looks with it so it's kind of just my go-to palette and it's so like small and easy to travel with so this is my go-to palette although I will use different palettes on um, whatever day I feel like using it on so yeah. The next thing I use is the Glow Kit and the Shade Sun Knit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You don't know what this is yet, where have you been? This is just what it looks like, super cute, bomb.com. It has pretty colors. Um, let me show you guys my favorite color. So my favorite color is a tourmaline right here. It's like this purple um, gray undertone one. I think it is so pretty, bomb.com. I love it. I literally highlight, whoa, I almost broke it. I highlight like crazy, but I really love this has sun dip to glow kit. I have another one, but this is the one I use every day. Every day it's my go-to by all means. This is my holy grail product also. Anastasia is doing its job for me, so keep it up, girl. So I just use this glow kit every day. The next thing I use every day is mascara, of course. Um, I always change my mascara up like every time I run out. But right now I'm just using the Ulta Plush Drum and Volume Mascara. And this is just what it looks like. And I actually just opened it up this morning and I really love it. I feel like it keeps my eyelashes up all day. And I like that it doesn't drag it down. And the bottle of the design is cool. Like, I don't know, I think it's really cool. It's this blue thing. So I always use a different mascara. Well, not every day, but every time I run out. This is just the one I'm using now. So, we'll see how it breaks by the end of the bottle. The next thing I use, um, I usually wear a different lipstick every day, but I like to keep to, um, like, a consistent one, one that looks more natural. So, one I've been obsessed with lately is just this NYX matte lipstick, and it is in the shade natural how convenient and it's just this pink color I have on now it's super pretty as you can see I used the heck out of it but it's super pretty it's like this light pink not even light it's like more of a darker tone pink but not too dark so it looks natural so this is just the lipstick I literally use every day if I'm not wearing a dark color and the last thing I use every day of course is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. It's almost gone. I'm pretty darn sad. But this stuff works miracles. I love spraying it on after so my face doesn't look too cakey because I feel like it makes your face not look powdery at all. And I spray it on before and I spray it on between and I just take showers in it, you know, because it's great. I mean, I love it. So I definitely recommend this product. If you keep seeing it all over YouTube, get it. It's amazing. So <laughs> these are all my every day makeup products. Um, it's not that much. It's not anything too exciting. I just thought I'd show you some of my products I use daily with you guys. As always, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. We are so close to 700. I couldn't thank you guys enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!